Well, I'm finally able to get everything cycling on this thing, finally. Uh, got some crude little uh, tabs kind of cut out. They're barely tacked on there. They're cut out with just a cutoff wheel, but the, the spacing and everything is all semi-close. I kind of just eyeballed everything with a tape measure for now. Um, obviously, I gotta build legit mounts. Um, I'm not able to really build mounts until this beam gets actually all fully plated in and gusseted like it's supposed to be. Um, so for now, I just needed something there to get the brace arm in position with the beam to be able to cycle the thing and kind of just check some clearances. Um, some of the clearances I was looking for was for this tube here to see if I had to do anything with it and I don't at bump. I still got plenty of room in here for this radius arm, so that's looking good. Um, and then the rest of the steering, the oil pan, the top of the beam, I have plenty of room in there, clearing the oil pan with the beam at bump. Um, right now from ride height, I'm looking at about 12 inches of bump travel that I'm able to play with once I get shocks in here, shocks, bumps, um, exhaust, plenty of other things that can chew up a little bit of that travel. Um, I think I said it in an earlier video, I'm gonna be trying to get 10 inches of usable bump travel from ride height. It's kind of my goal to have this truck at. So right now I'm at 12. Um, gives me a little room to play with as I move some things around. Um, but for now, I'm gonna be taking a break on this Ranger. Um, I have said before I wanna get that that motor and trans goes into that truck, so I was just using them for the spare time. Um, kind of able to get that stuff knocked up, and now that I know I have the clearance I need for the Turbo 400 for an L-Series engine, um, I'm actually gonna be ripping that apart. Um, going through that, it's kind of gonna be probably the next things I'm putting on my page here, is ripping that motor apart, rebuilding it, going through all that stuff, and going through a couple of things I pointed out in the last video that I need to fix on that, so. That's going to take up a couple weeks of my time, um, but as soon as I get that truck running again and going, I'll be jumping back over to this and, um, you know, work on finalizing and actually building all this stuff fully out and uh, that'll kind of, in that time, I've got to kind of decide what I'm going to do for shocks yet. There's a lot of things that I still got to figure out, so taking a little break from this to get going on that, so going to change some of the stuff that I start putting on this page for a couple weeks, so. Um, hope you like seeing some of that stuff too. Um, once I get that going, I'll probably be able to get out to the dunes and show some other things other than just in the garage building stuff all the time. So thanks for watching. That's kind of where I'm at with all this stuff. Um, try to get on a level where I can put out more videos a little more uh, frequently, but um, you know, some of this stuff just takes more time than others. So anyways, I'm rambling. Thanks for watching. See you on the dunes.